good afternoon, Dr. Rashid. Thank you very much for the invitation. Um, metering solutions and the benefit for the utilities. First of all, um, I want to highlight that my presentation focuses a lot on the water side, but several of the principles that I will talk apply for all the utilities. Also, we already listened the presentation regarding the AMI, AMR, so I will not or I will try not to repeat some of the concepts, but for me the most important element is to highlight some of the areas where people forget when we talk about the smart metering, and primarily, again, in the water sector. But first of all, some of, some of us, we are aware of today mega trends and the impact that they, that they have in our day-to-day -day life. In a rapid changing in global environment, mega trends analysis is critical for companies to seek and to drive sustainable growth and remain relevant in a, compet in a competitive environment. It is believed that these mega trends will change the behavior and attitude of people. And this is completely true. We are every day seeing how these mega trends are changing. We see all what is happening here in the UAE, where the government has recognized and is taking action regarding these mega trends. We all know that resources, and we already hear about that, resources and primarily water is a big problem, not just in the UAE, but in the GCC. We need to manufacture our own water. That is the reality where we live. Digital transformation, everybody's talking about that. But the reality is simple. Can you imagine one day without your mobile phone? Today we expect to control our lives through our mobile phone and apply this for all industries. But when we talk about digitalization, we talk about big data, huge amount terabytes of data are generated per second. How we can handle this data, how we can analyze it, and how we can make it relevant to our day-to-day -day business. All we know, the big drive in the UAE to move into smart cities. But why? Why we want a smart city? There are some studies that said that in the future, cit cities will compete between them to attract resources, skills, and talent. And the view is that the smarter the city, the easier will be for that city to attract this talent and become a better place to live. But all these mega trends have a huge impact in the utilities. We all know what a water meter is. It's not a big science. It's as old as 200, 300 years old. But what we also know a lot of people understand, what is important of selecting the correct meter and the impact that that selection has on the data. What I can say is that the correct selection of the meter is as important as the quality of the meter itself. So you can select a very good meter, but in the wrong application, it will not work. The correct of selection of a meter from the technology, from the characteristics, and also we need to understand the operational and environmental conditions where the meter will work. One very important factor here in the GCC is understanding the consumption profiles. Not everybody see that the consumption is not constant for all the users. A typical infrastructure of the water infrastructure in the GCC, primarily by the usage of these very, water, very large water tanks after the meter or before the meter, have a significant impact in how the water is consumed and how this profile will impact the meter. We also need to understand the financial model of the utility, what the utility is trying to achieve from the financial point of view. All these affect what meter we should select. 
Some of us understand the concept of the static meter. I will not spend too much on that. But what I can say is that today is very well demonstrated that the majority of the utilities here in the GCC see static meters as the real technology that we should be using today. And the reasons are because the environment is very different here. The operation is very different here. But now let's talk about something that a lot of people are talking about, smart metering. Well, here is where there is several confusion or several problems. First of all, no an static meter, that means an electronic meter, is a smart meter. A smart meter is more than just a device that records consumption. They need to record additional valuable information. Example, in the case of a water meter, flows, alarm, temperature, pressure. Uh -huh. Overall, all this information needs to be relevant to the utility. But more important, these devices need to be able to communicate. And a smart meter itself do not add any value to any utility. It's just a piece of hardware installed outside. The really important is when this meter is input as a part of an infrastructure. Could be an AMR or could be an AMI. Now, AMI, there is another confusion or different points of view, and we heard in the previous presentation. An AMI allows the utility to interact with the users. The automatic or advanced metering infrastructure is an interaction. It's a two-way communication between the utility and the users. But this not necessarily mean that the technology is two-way. It's an interaction. And this interaction today can happen through multiple mechanisms to assist here in the UAE. Already utilities have implemented that. So an AMI is a communication, it's an interaction. 